So this is good for all the wounded warriors. They're getting the help that they need. Not all, we've heard that in the news, yeah, but uh, something that we are seeing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the government and the medical community is trying to do better in providing that care that is lacking. And it, we are aware, <clears throat> and we certainly want to help the wounded warriors. As the segment indicated, they go across seas and fight a lot of battles for us so we can live the lifestyle that we live. So we certainly appreciate that and want to honor them and do everything we can to help them once they get back home to show our appreciation and our love that they went there and sacrificed their bodies uh, for us. So I think that everybody's aware of it and more is to come. Um, and it's nice to know that they're doing that, absolutely. All right, on to some of our viewers' medical questions. Uh, this person wants to know, can you get gout from a previous injury? Uh, not necessarily. Gout is a arthritis that is normally caused by elevated uric acid in the bloodstream that's normally related to uh, diet and poor diet choices, our lifestyle basically. There are some people who have high uric acid levels just from genetic predisposition, but for the most part it is related to uh, the type of Western diet that we love so much that probably today we ate with uh, the barbecues and the shrimp and the seafood and alcohol. So this is a terrible gout day. So can you reverse gout? <clears throat> Absolutely. Certainly living a healthy lifestyle, eating more of a plant-based diet. Sometimes we have to add medications, one, sometimes two, but certainly the lifestyle is the key to helping patients who have gout. Okay, on to some other questions. Uh, my grandson has a cast for a broken thumb. Can he swim if they get a waterproof cast? He was so sad missing swimming and kayaking this I weekend. I actually don't know of a waterproof cast out there. A lot of times they can cover it with something that's protective, but the actual cast itself, as far as I know, is not waterproof. Certainly get with your orthopedist for further instructions, but a lot of times you just cover it. I think submerging in a body of water or pool would be difficult, but just get with your orthopedist. Okay. Can you get cellulitis less than 36 hours after surgery? Yeah, absolutely. We talk about what we call nosocomial infections. That's a long word meaning infections acquired in the hospital. Mm. We talk about it all the time. That's why there's a push towards getting patients out of the hospital a lot faster because the longer they stay in the hospital, the risk of nosocomial infection actually goes up. And certainly anytime you have surgery, that is a risk. When you fill out the uh, form, giving the surgeon permission, infection is a part of that list in terms of what might happen. So it is a known complication. Certainly sometimes they give uh, antibiotics prior to the surgery, and sometimes, unfortunately, there is infection. Certainly, if you think you have an infection, get with your surgeon. All right. We've got lots of other, qu other questions. We'll get to those in just a minute, so yes, don't go away. Dr. Levine will answer more of your questions next on Live at 5. We're back with Dr. Masante Levine to answer more of your medical questions. A 53-year-old female says, what can cause cramps in the ribs, the hands, and the legs? Well, a lot of times, if it is systemic, as it appears to be in this person, normally it's related to something like medications or dehydration. Mm. Uh, some, sometimes antibiotics can do that, sometimes infections. So I probably would get to the physician, check some blood work, maybe some x-rays to find it out. But just simple dehydration a lot of times can be the cause of that. Okay, a 51-year-old male has bone spurs in both feet out, has trouble keeping on his feet and uh, at work. Is there a treatment for them? Yeah, a lot of times they can perform surgery for that. They typically don't like to do that. Injections with cortisone is normally what they can provide. They also can mold some inserts or what they call orthotics into the shoe to kind of help relieve some of the pressure that is on the heel. Typically it is non-surgical, but sometimes you do need surgery. And certainly if there's any way that he can modify his behavior that would be helpful but you got to pay the bills gotta so, work. yeah gotta work <laughs> so uh, sometimes the footwear can make a difference and a foot doctor podiatrist can certainly help that person try and figure out all those issues okay a 27 year old female had two children within two years the last about a year ago she wants to lose weight that she's gained she's always tired why is that? Just because of the weight gain. That's typically very difficult after a childbirth for a lot of different reasons, a lot of hormonal shifts. They're not eating the same. They're not really able to be physically active for a lot of mothers because they are trying to raise kids, they're trying to go to work, trying to and take care of And she's chasing after two kids yeah, within two years. Absolutely. <laughs> it's so difficult. The access, as we know, to healthy foods is a lot less. And so the medic foods that normally have a lot of calories are easier access or cheaper. So it's actually very difficult to do that. But certainly don't give up. 
and understand the basics of weight loss and weight gain. It is a calorie in, calorie out situation. Certainly try and get on board at some point mm -hmm. with reducing your calorie consumption and exercising on a regular basis at least five days a week. All right, and you can get those kids involved too. Absolutely. Just saying. Yes. A 47-year-old male had a triple A surgery two months ago and now has uh, bowel movements that are black what could be the cause? Uh, triple A surgery is the repair of the big aorta and a lot of times they are used intravascular procedures. Black stool would indicate possibly blood in the stool so mm. certainly not something I would blow off because sometimes there can be a connection with that so certainly I would recommend this person get to a healthcare professional as soon as possible get their blood count checked maybe do a CAT scan to make sure that there is no communication between the aneurysm repair and the gastrointestinal tract, which can happen unlikely two weeks later, but everything is possible, as we mentioned, with infection with the mm -hmm. surgery earlier, so don't blow that one off. All right, Dr. Levine, as always, we appreciate you yes, stopping by and answering my questions. Pl my pleasure. And as always, you can visit our website and see the answers to these and other medical questions posted online. And if you'd like to have Dr. Levine answer your medical question, you can always mail us at the address listed on your screen, faxes 892-7305. Email us at laf at kftm.com or you can post those questions every Monday on our KFTM News Facebook page.